everyone welcome to my channel my name is Alyssa in case you are new here welcome and thank you so much for clicking on my video today today I am talking about some makeup some Marvel makeup to be specific so Marvel has teamed up yet again with Ulta it wasn't too long ago that I reviewed a collab that they did with Avengers when they released Endgame I believe it was uh, the film Endgame, they had come out with a a uh, whole line with a bunch of different products and if you guys are interested in that video I will link it down below. Um, this one, this one's about Black Widow. <laughs> so the Black Widow movie is set to be released soon. I know that they pushed back the date that it's going to be launched because obviously movie theaters are closed right now. I know that the hype is still there for the movie. When I saw this line on Ulta.com I just I had to jump at it because Carmen Comics, comics are my life, are a big part of my life, other than makeup. This particular range consists of one eyeshadow palette, a face palette, four lip glosses, four lip kits with a lipstick and lip liner duo, and also four brushes. I only have two of the brushes because, well, I'll explain that a little bit later. I kind of already like started my video when I did my makeup, but I'm just going to do like, I'm going to try and speed up this intro here. Um, but the face palette in particular, this one comes in two different uh, shades, I guess you could call it, two different types. So I got the lighter one because obviously I'm fair skinned, so I'm going to buy the lighter palette, but they also have... Um, a deeper one for people that have a deeper skin tone so I'm just putting that out there this is not just one face palette they have two face palettes if you guys care to see my thoughts on this collection then just keep on watching hit that subscribe button down below that way you don't miss out when I post a new video and let's just jump into it and by the way I got some facts coming at you so Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'm starting out with the shade Safe House, just underneath my brow there. I already set my eyes before this with just regular powder, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna dive in with this brush here. This is, I guess, just a, like a regular crease brush. Just says Taper Blending Brush. So I guess it doesn't need to be necessarily crease. It's just for blending. So, but I'm gonna use it for my crease anyways because <laughs> that's all I have for eye brushes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Covert, but I'm gonna do it super lightly. That way I can get it not so harsh in my transition area. I'm not going to worry too much about it being all messy down there. I'm going to fix that later. Um, so anyways, let's get into Black Widow because I have an appreciation for Black Widow as a character in many different ways. Um, first of all, she's just a bad, bad bee. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just gonna start with that but also because I don't know she's just one of those like OG characters she's been around for so many years and people just have such a fascination with her I don't know I just feel like sharing more of that side of me with you guys it's just it's such a big part of my life and I just want everyone to know about it and everyone to appreciate comics as much as I do but for those of you that don't know her real name is actually Natalia like that was like her given name and she changed it over she is a descendant of Russia's royal family and she I think was like discovered by like a, a Russian soldier. He kind of watched over her as she grew up and she, I think he like was at one point like her chauffeur or something. Like he like he kind of like became a big part of 
her life. I'm gonna do the shade uh, Power before I move on. Just a little bit below and down here in the outer crease area. What a lot of you may not actually know is that she used to be a ballerina. Like she had such a joy for the sport, art, <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it. And she just always had like such a fascination with it and so she um, eventually became a really like really good ballerina. You know, she's athletic. Eventually she married a Soviet test pilot. I can't remember what his name is. She became a widow because he was out on like a mission or something. He... I don't remember if he actually died or if he just had to like assume another identity because of because of the mission, because of insinuating circumstances, whatever, but either way, I think she was told that he like died and so that kind of <laughs> that was kind of uh, traumatizing for her a little bit, I would imagine. Kind of like kickstarted her into wanting to become the Black Widow because she wanted to <laughs> how do I say this? She wanted to do something like worthy of like his honor. Oh my gosh. Neighbor's dog. <laughs> she wanted to do something like worthy of like something that he would be proud of basically. And so that's kind of how she became the Black Widow. She first got tied up with like the Avengers and that whole sort of thing over in America from I think with like something to do with Iron Man, well more specifically like Tony Stark, like I think it, like Stark Industries I'm pretty sure is what it was. That's kind of how she got tied into that whole thing because obviously she lived in Russia at the time and was like a Russian spy. Around that point she was really close with Hawkeye. He was like part of the mission or something like that. They had kind of gotten like cross paths and were kind of working together and so those two became super super close. I'm gonna use the shade Undercover next just on the very very outer corner. So those two got really close and kind of had like a fling sort of situation and Eventually, Hawkeye kind of gave up his criminal ways and he joined with the Avengers, but of course, uh, Natasha, she just wanted to, you know, do her Russian spy thing, so that kind of ended that whole mess. She eventually got tied up with Daredevil as well, so they had something going on. I think S.H.I.E.L.D. was the first to like sort of get her involved, like her gateway to the Avengers, and so they were basically a big part in her becoming an Avenger, and she didn't like join them right away. She was just kind of helping them out like time to time, but eventually she, you know, stuck it out. Now she's, now she's one of the Avengers. <laughs> Amazing story, huh guys? I know, right? But yeah, there's there's a lot of really interesting things about her when you read up on it. It's it's a pretty fascinating character to follow. I am going to use whatever's left on this from the black. I'm gonna take the shade covert and smoke that on the lower lash line. If you guys want some recommendations or a recommendation for a series if you want to read up on her more, I actually have it with me over here. It is this three, it's a three book series. Well, it's one series. So it's, it composed, it's composed of three different books though. So this is um, so how do I explain this? So comic books, they can have like solo titles 
in multiple volumes. Captain America, for example, there's so many different stories of Captain America. I mean, I guess you could say like Captain America from 2014, but you could also say it like volume one, volume two, volume three. This is all the same series, so this would all be, I think this is like volume two or three, maybe? I know it's not her first, first solo title run, but um, this particular story was published in 2015. So I mean, I guess you could just search it if you wanted to search it that way, um, 2015. But you don't have to get all three books. So the way that they do comics is you can purchase, you could purchase like this one right here, volume one, <laughs> or book one, sorry, book one. And that's a story arc, one story arc. And then the second book is another story arc. So they have them divvied up so where they're separate stories, they're talking about separate things, but it's the same characters and same sort of time place setting, if that makes sense. So I highly recommend it. It dives a little bit into her background, I think a little bit. It has like a little bit of like flashbacks into her background, so that's kind of cool in those ones, and they're really easy to follow. Um, I guess just with the information that I kind of just gave you guys, it should be a pretty easy story to follow. So I highly recommend this particular series, and you can just pick up the first one, see if you like it, and then if you like it, then you can purchase the other two, but this is a really easy read. I have a couple other little mini series of hers and other ones where she like guest appears in them and I like them. I, I really like her as a character so if you want to read more about her check those out. I'm gonna go in with let's do fiery like on the inner half see what that looks like and I usually do shimmers with my fingers. I used this shade before. I used this a few days ago and I actually really, really like this shade. Now I want to take another shimmer, I think. I'm going to take Relentless and I'm going to do that on the inner corner. Oh my gosh, this shade is super soft. I haven't used this one yet. Ooh, that's a little darker than I thought it would be. Mm, meh. There's nothing really lighter than that, so it just... Oh my gosh, it just does not look that dark in the pan. Even on my finger, like, what happened? Is this like a color changing one? I'm gonna do lashes and pull the camera back a little bit and, well, maybe not. I'll leave it in this frame, I guess, and then that way I can do the rest of my face. I'm gonna finish my forehead. I do this weird thing when I do my makeup, when I do like my full face. I, uh, <laughs> I do my forehead last because whenever I do my eyeshadow, you know, I'm always going like this and then this and it's it just creates lines and I feel like my foundation just gets into those lines so easily and it's just horrendous. So I always like to put on my foundation on my forehead afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about my order experience? Because it was kind of crazy. I did not get every single brush in this line, but I got everything else. Um, so when I first saw this line on Ulta.com, that's where I first saw it, um, I you know, jumped out it immediately and I was like, yes, buy the whole entire collection. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I bought, or so I thought I bought the entire collection and then a few days later I noticed that I was, or I had missed a couple of brushes. So I don't know if they launched like after the rest of the stuff launched, but it was weird because I got two brushes. So I don't know how I missed two other ones so I'm gonna throw them up on the screen right here but I somehow missed two brushes but I mean I'm sure the quality is the same I'm sure it's the same I mean these two feel the same felt the same when I 
felt them. I don't know where my blending, here it is, my blending brush. They, I mean, they feel like the same sort of bristles. These are just obviously packed more a little dense and this one's not. Um, but yeah, it was, it was odd. It was odd to me. Like how, <laughs> how does that happen? I ordered these, let me look and see when I ordered actually. I did uh, four different transactions all within like I don't know, 30 minutes of each other. Mid-afternoon, maybe four o'clock-ish. They were like one after the other, so they weren't super far in between. My first three orders shipped two days after I ordered it. My first three boxes started shipping. Thought, okay, that was a little strange. And they ended up showing at my door on April 2nd. So they showed up at my door four days after I initially placed the order, which I thought was crazy because we're in the middle of a freaking pandemic right now. And so I thought that the shipping was gonna at least take a week. I was not, not expecting four days at all for sure. So that was crazy. I couldn't believe that. But then obviously the fourth box, <laughs> I was a little bit like, uh, what's going on here and I got noticed that it obviously got delayed so I thought okay well I mean there's things going on I'm not mad at it but you guys I finally got my fourth box in today today that's why I'm filming this today because I had plenty of time to try all the other things and today is the 8th April 8th so I've had almost a week with these other products, so I know I know how much I like them. I just wanted to do like a little sit down, talk through, just because I wanted to chat, that's why. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that was a little bit frustrating, but you know, at the end of the day, it's just makeup, it's just things, I'm not, it's not that deep. Um, I'm gonna go in with the face stuff because I'm a little... <laughs> I'm gonna start with the blush. This is the face palette right here. So it's got a trio of highlighter, blush, and then bronzer. The blush is a little bit, um, uh, I wouldn't say it looks brown, but it just looks like neutral. Like it doesn't look like a normal like blush. So it's kind of interesting. I mean, obviously that is so that it can be made available for more skin tone so that's great so I'm just gonna try it with this brush right here even though it's I'm not really sure what this brush use is for I'm assuming it's just called like a face brush but I like this blush I used this trio the other day and I really really like it the blush is one of those things where it's not super, super pigmented, which I actually really like. I actually prefer less pigmented blushes. That way I don't go in too hard <laughs> and have to fix it. I'm going to do the bronzer. This is the shade Soldier. So I'm just going to kind of do where I would normally bronze. <laughs> um, again, this bronzer is really, really nice. And it's not too too opaque to where you're having to consistently fix and blend away or add other face powder in order to counteract how dark it is i really really like it doesn't have any shimmer to it it's just nice and neutral now we're gonna do a highlighter this highlighter is again very neutral it's not it doesn't lean too far like white or too dark it's like a good in-between highlight that anybody can use I feel like even darker skin people could probably use this it's 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 not it's not too light I feel like I think it's just just the perfect shade I really like this brush I think I'm actually pretty pretty happy with it the barrel of it seems super nice it's like super smooth I think I'm gonna continue to use it hopefully the bristles don't fall out hopefully they're not like a cheap it's not it doesn't feel cheap 
it feels good. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you guys out and try some lip products. The uh, lipsticks come in this sort of box like this, or lipstick kits rather, and it's actually a really cool box for what it is. I'm pretty impressed with the packaging, but then they just come in this little plastic protective to keep them in their spot. I'm gonna pop these out. I got, um, so I got two of these in the mail today. This is one of them. This is the shade Fearless. Ooh, it's actually really pretty. It's like this brick red sort of color. And then the second one I got in the mail is Courageous. And this one is, oh, this one's pretty. This one's like a mauve sort of shade that's pretty okay and then obviously they have corresponding lip liners the only drawback to these is that I mean ideally you probably wouldn't need to get all four shades but the only drawback is that so the lipsticks they have their shade name on the top here but the lip liners there's no name on here to be found so if you're uh, buying all four, you could kind of get them mixed up easily, which I probably will. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set these together over here. <laughs> but the other two shades that I have that I already had were Stealthy and Strong. I really like Strong. This one's a really nice like everyday neutral shade. <sighs> They don't really smell like anything either. They don't have a scent, so they're not fragranced, but it's not um, like heavily like plasticky chemically either. So it's a it's an okay scent. There is no scent. Um, but the outside packaging itself is a uh, Black Widow's logo. That's what she's what she's known for. The lip glosses themselves. This is kind of the same situation, sort of. But when you get these, they look like this they just come they just come like this they don't have like any sort of outside packaging or anything like any cardboard packaging I should say they do come in like a sealed wrap to safety plastic on it to you know peel off so it does have that on it obviously I've peeled them all off because I got these already almost a week ago and have used them all but the only drawback is that the shade name and the barcode which are on here they're on top of the plastic so when you peel the plastic off so goes the label so I had to carefully peel each and every one of these off of the plastic before I took the plastic off that way I could stick them on the tube itself and see what the name is because there's it doesn't say the shade name anywhere on the tube itself other it just says it on the outside the sticker so that's a little bit of an inconvenience but I fixed it ish so it works it's not that big of a deal I think I'm gonna put on the shade strong right now which is one that I already had just because I really like this shade the pencil is not too tough to work with I can't <laughs> I'm gonna have to speed through this because I can't really talk and do this at the same time the lipsticks are not hard to work with at all. They they glide on super smooth. They're pretty bunch proof throughout the day as far as that goes. It's um, kind of like a silky sort of formula, I feel like. It's not like, it's not matte whatsoever. And it's not super like thick and goopy either. It's a really nice like, nice pleasant silky <laughs> sort of uh, formula. So that's nice. Um, the lip glosses, they are a doe foot applicator just like this and they're the old school type of components where you can like it's not like a hard plastic it's like a soft plastic where you can like squeeze it and the product could come out of it do you guys remember these kind of components as far as the pigmentation on these holy crap these have got some pigment they're not like a sheer glossy sort of thing like they've got pigment to them so if you wear these you don't even have to wear a lipstick underneath of them you could just wear them with the gloss and it would look awesome um, except for the shade Siberian Frost this one is not like the rest these ones are just a creamy 
glossy formula. Um, they're not overly glossy though, like Goopy. Siberian Frost. This one is a clear gloss, but it's got like a pink glitter to it. It's really pretty. It's just very shiny. I like this one. I really like this gloss on top of this shade in particular. So it does have transfer on it. It's not like a complete um, matte, not transfer lipstick, but the lip gloss. Oh my gosh, this one looks looks really pretty right <laughs> the other shades I have are New York which is a mauvey pink sort of shade we've got Norway which is a nudie brown sort of shade and then we've got Budapest which is a red it's not like a super super intense red so my overall thoughts on this collection I feel like this is a really nice collection and Compared to the Avengers collection that they came out with, I think it was last year, um, it was, it's like a lot better. I really feel like they elevated what they could do with this brand, Marvel, in terms of collabing with them. So I really hope that they collab with other superheroes or even supervillains, I don't care, um, in the future. That would be so cool because I love comics, I love Marvel, and I love DC. So. I just, I would totally, totally buy more. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that notification bell, that way you know when I'm posting another video, which could be any time because I'm purchasing makeup online right now because everything's closed, so it could be any time there's new makeup. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!